Hi, everyone. Welcome to our online engagement event for the Central Industrial Neighborhood. My name is Natalie Bode, and I'm the Senior Transportation Engineer responsible for neighborhood traffic reviews. I'm joined this evening by Chelsea Lanning. She's the project manager for the Central Industrial Neighborhood Traffic Review. And we're also joined by Katie Sapia, another member of the Neighborhood Traffic Review team, and she'll be helping us uh, behind the scenes. We look forward to working with you to address the traffic issues that you're experiencing in your neighborhood. Please note that our meeting, meeting tonight will be recorded and posted to the Engage page for the Central Industrial Neighborhood so that anyone who hasn't, uh, wasn't able to attend tonight can still watch the video and let us know if they have any additional traffic concerns in the neighborhood. It looks like we don't have any attendees currently joined, so we will uh, still record the materials so that everyone can access it. Uh, if you have any issues with the recording, uh, please contact us by email, phone, letters, um, or the report a traffic issue app. Uh, details for those contacts will be provided later in the meeting. Uh, and I do see that we have um, some attendees signed on now. So uh, online meetings are still fairly new to us, so we appreciate your patience as we go through all of the materials. Uh, to ensure that the meeting runs as smoothly as possible, we ask that you type your comments in the question and answer box, and I will read them out a little bit later. I hope that uh, you've all had a chance to review our neighborhood traffic video series. It uh, goes over the neighborhood traffic review process, common solutions that we typically use to address the traffic issues, and traffic concerns that have been previously brought to our attention by residents and businesses in the central industrial neighborhood. Tonight, we're hoping to hear from you we want to know where you are experiencing those traffic issues, things like speeding, pedestrian and cycling safety, and traffic safety. You are our experts in the neighborhood since you're there nearly every day, and we're relying on your knowledge to help us identify those problem areas. Councillor Hill, your council representative uh, for the neighborhood, was hoping to join us tonight, but I see that he hasn't signed in yet. If he is able to sign in later, we'll, we'll make some introductions. Often when we have these meetings, we're also joined by a member of the Saskatoon Police Service Traffic Unit. Unfortunately, uh, Staff Sergeant Devin Rasicott was unable to join us this evening and sends his regrets. So if you have any traffic enforcement concerns, we'll make sure to pass those along to him so he is aware of what's going on. At this point, Chelsea, would you like to share your screen and we can start going over the locations of concerns we've heard so far? Hello everyone. Again, my name is Chelsea Lanning and I'll be the project manager for the Central Industrial Neighborhood Traffic Review. Today, we'll be discussing traffic in your neighborhood, such as what's working and what's not working. Right now, I'm showing a map of your neighborhood to get you oriented. Central Industrial is bound by Idlewild Drive to the west, shown in red here, 33rd Street to the north, 2nd Avenue to the east, and 25th Street to the south. The police station is here, Saskatchewan Polytechnic is here, and SGI is here. So this traffic review will cover the local and collector streets within these boundaries. Um, so that's really what we're here to talk to you about tonight. Next slide. I'd like to provide a summary of the concerns that I've received so far. And just give me a moment here to get the slides correct. Seem to be having a little bit of technical difficulty, so just bear with me here. There we go. 
Yeah, so previous concerns. This slide shows locations of pedestrian concerns in orange on the map, and these are what I've heard so far. At number one, it's 1st Avenue and 26th Street. A resident reported that the street lighting is poor here and has requested additional street lighting and an upgraded pedestrian crossing. A curb extension was installed on the southeast corner and an additional curb extension is planned for the southwest corner. The installation for this side has underground utility conflicts, so we had to explore alternate methods to install it. These curb extensions will help improve visibility of pedestrians at this location. Um, and we will still investigate this location as part of the NTR to determine if alternate devices are needed. At number two is 2nd Avenue and Duke Street. There is a request for an upgraded crossing device and the resident reported that there's a tree blocking visibility of pedestrians waiting at the crosswalk and that it's a busy street. And number three was at 2nd Avenue and King Street an upgraded pedestrian crossing was requested here. So now I'll pass it over to Natalie to go over any comments submitted in the Q&A forum. Okay, thanks Chelsea. Uh, we have one comment so far that's entered. I would like to address the parking times on the section of First Avenue by the 700 block. It is 300, sorry, it is three hours there, but a block away, it is a two hour time restriction. Can we get a decrease in time to two hours for the 700 block as well as it affects business and customer traffic? Uh, yeah, that's something that we could look at through this review. Um, our parking services group often also contributes to making the decisions on the the time restrictions in these neighborhoods so we'll chat with them and see what uh, they recommend and if they're okay with changing that to a, a different time restriction yeah so just to expand on that a little bit all of our parking restrictions and prohibitions need to align with our council policy uh, related to that and we need quite a bit of information about supply and demand uh, and adjacent land use before we can make those recommendations. And I see that um, they've followed up with an additional comment about that, that the three hour parking allows many workers that work in the businesses uh, to park along the street and it restricts uh, commercial sales. So we often have those kinds of concerns in our business areas that staff park and take up all the customer parking uh, stalls. So something we can, uh, can take a look at for sure. OK, that's all I'm seeing in the chat box right now. Um, so just to make sure that we give everyone enough time to to enter their comments. Um, while we wait for that, did you want to provide an update on the um, RRFB installation? Sure, I can do that. Uh, just let me consult my notes here really quick. Um, OK, so there was an RRFB or rectangular rapid flashing beacon recently installed at the intersection of 20. 5th Street and Pacific Avenue. This is near the uh, police station and this device uh, you press a button and lights flash on the sides of the road which aids pedestrians crossing 25th Street. Uh, we'd had concerns about this crossing that we'd heard through um, through your neighbors and through people that use that crossing in the area and so that was installed um, I believe last year. Okay, hey, thanks, Chelsea. I'm not seeing anything else in the um, question and answer box at this point. Uh, would you like to go over next steps and what we'll do with the, the input gathered? Sure. Um, so I'll just get my slide up. There we go. The comment period will be open for approximately a month. And once we close the comment period, We'll begin our data collection for the study, uh, such as field observations. 
Because of the changes resulting from COVID-19, uh, we're currently monitoring traffic volumes and behaviors, and we have started to, to count a little bit here and there just to see if traffic has normalized, and we're seeing some, some signs that traffic is getting closer to back to normal pre-COVID. So uh, after the data collection is complete, um, we'll prepare a draft traffic plan and we'll come back and share that with the neighborhood at another meeting um, so that we can get your feedback on the recommendations within that plan before taking it forward to the Standing Policy Committee on Transportation. Um, after it's been approved by Council, we would start implementation of measures. Um, so, so that would happen afterwards. Things like signs and pavement markings are fairly quick to install, so those would go in sooner. Um, more extensive measures such as pedestrian devices or traffic calming may take a little bit longer just because um, they're a little bit more complicated and require funding. And once the devices have been in for a minimum of one year, we come back and we evaluate their effectiveness to make sure that they're performing in the way uh, that we want them to. Um, so in addition to that, if you'd like to be kept up to date via email on this project, you can subscribe for uh, updates at the Saskatoon.ca engage page. <clears throat> So if you want to join the discussion, uh, please feel free to reach out to us if you think of any additional concerns. We encourage you to share the information with your neighbours so that they also have an opportunity to participate. As mentioned earlier, we have multiple methods for submitting comments. You can post comments at saskatoon.ca slash engage page, subscribe for updates at saskatoon.ca slash NTR, the Report a Traffic Issue app, by phone, email, letter, or fill out the online survey. More details are available on the saskatoon.ca engage page. And if we were unable to get to your question tonight, we will provide a response in the meeting minutes. I think we did, we were able to answer the questions tonight. So um, hopefully you're happy with that. And um, the meeting recording will be posted to the engage page in the next few days. Um, and we'd also like to get your opinion on how we did here tonight. So you could let us know by filling out the evaluation survey, which will be posted in the Q&A form as well. And now I'll hand it back off to Natalie. Thanks, Chelsea. Uh, I don't see any new comments in the discussion forum. So I think we've covered off uh, what today's participants were interested in. So as Chelsea mentioned, we look forward to hearing from you. And uh, the more input we get from you, the better of a draft traffic plan we'll have to present and discuss with you at the next meeting. So uh, we look forward to seeing you uh, in 2021. On behalf of Chelsea, Katie and myself, I would like to thank you all for joining us tonight and for participating in the Central Industrial Neighborhood Traffic Review. Thanks so much. Take care and we'll see you next year.